Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is the 24th video as part of our series of videos on power of reporting in Tally Prime. In this video, we will see another very important report, which is the statistics report. The statistics report will provide detail of all your masters and the vouchers. Let us go to Tally and explore the report of statistics. The term statistics is the representation of numerical data. This report is one which provides bird's eye view of number of voucher types and number of transactions entered for each of the voucher types and also number of different types of masters created for a given company. In fact, a power user of Tally or a regular user of Tally, when they first access a company, the very popular shortcut they use is DSS. Just by typing DSS on your keyboard, you will access the statistics report. We are in the gateway of Tally. Let me press DSS. We are now viewing the statistics report. We will come back to this report. Let's go to gateway of Tally. Now, what is this DSS? Actually, it is the hotkey to access this report. So we are in the gateway of Tally. D stands for display more reports. Click on display more reports and S stands for statements of account. Click on statements of account and under statements of account, we have statistics. Click on statistics and we are accessing this statistics report. This report is divided into two parts. The left side will give you the list of types of vouchers and the default tally vouchers provided in Tally Prime and also the list of voucher types that the user creates. The right side will give you the list of masters, all types of masters that you have created along with the statistical information of each of the master types. If you notice for each voucher type, we have the statistical information of number of vouchers created for the given period. So in this company, the period is 1st of April to 31st of March 24. So for the entire year, this is the list of vouchers for each of the voucher type that has been transacted. Let us select payment voucher. Now payment voucher has 130 vouchers with data and one voucher has been cancelled. Now we can click on payment voucher. Tally will give you the list of vouchers month wise. So each month, what is the total number of vouchers that has been transacted. So the cursor is in the month of March. So we can click on the month of March and we will now get the list of payment vouchers. Let us go to the main report. Now in case if you want to view this report in vertical format, click on change view from the right side button bar. Click on change view and select vertical. Click on vertical. This statistics report will now be displayed in the vertical format. So we are now seeing the voucher type here and at the bottom we will see the types of accounts with their statistical value. Notice in this company, the user has created their own voucher types also. Like if you see the payment voucher, the user has created bank payment voucher separately and there are three entries related to bank payment. Similarly, they have created bank receipt and there are four transactions for bank receipt. So cash payment, cash receipts. These voucher type are created by the user under the payment voucher type for bank payment and cash payment and similarly bank receipt and cash receipt under receipt voucher type. By default, Tally is going to list out the voucher types in the alphabetical order. Now if you want to sort all these vouchers based on the default voucher type, click on F12 configure and under F12 configure, set this option sort by default voucher. We set this to yes, enter and we press control A. Now you will notice that Tally is listing all the voucher types based on the default voucher type. Contra doesn't have any user defined voucher type. Credit note and debit note, again, they are the default voucher type. So if you see delivery note, delivery note is the default voucher type user is created additional voucher type as delivery note branch one 
delivery note branch to and if there are any transactions for the user defined voucher types also will get listed here so you will see here under payment voucher bank payment cash payment are the user defined voucher type and the payment is the default voucher type so this way you can sort the voucher types based on the default voucher type next let us say you want to view only vouchers and statistics related to payment voucher we can now actually filter for any voucher type that we want so how do we filter again on the right hand side button bar we have this option called apply filter click on apply filter and this is the basic filter so here under look for just type payment enter and now tally will filter and give only the voucher types related to the filtered payment voucher so we have payment voucher as a parent and three voucher types under payment voucher bank payment cash payment and the default payment voucher and each one of them have vouchers and the total vouchers under the payment parent default type is 137 numbers we can observe that certain voucher types the default and user created do not have any transactions captured for example credit note is the default voucher type and there are no transactions captured for the year for credit note debit note similarly the delivery note branch one created by the user also do not have any transaction let us say you want this report to be filtered to view only those voucher types having transactions so how do we do that again click on f12 or press f12 and now set this option show voucher type having entries only click here and set it to yes now if you want to view the report with this stripe view we can enable stripe view also press y enter now we are viewing only those voucher types which have transaction and all voucher types with zero transactions have been eliminated now additionally if you want to analyze this report on a monthly basis or on a quarterly basis you want to analyze month on month how many vouchers have been entered or quarter on quarter the number of vouchers have been captured very simple again on the right hand side button bar we have this button called auto column click on auto column and let us select quarterly now you will see that the voucher type the total voucher type for the year is now broken down into quarter wise first quarter second quarter third quarter and fourth quarter and the total voucher for each quarter is also provided here the bottom section basically provides statistical information of the number of masters that have been created for this company so if you see the groups it says there are 29 groups which means the company is created one additional group apart from the 28 default groups that tally provides now let us come down to stock item stock items you will see the company has got 12 stock items in their organization and they have transacted this now select stock item and when you click on stock item we will be taken to the chart of account where we will see list of stock items along with their immediate group and their primary group if you have selected more than one company we can also compare the statistics information of all the selected companies so let us now convert this into a yearly report so click on auto column and let us select yearly so we have this yearly for Ganesh Ji Enterprises. So I have already selected another company. Let's say you want to compare the statistics report of both the companies. Then we click on new column. And now since the other company is selected, select the other company, enter and just press control A. Now we are able to compare the statistical information of vouchers and the masters for each of the company Ganesh Ji Enterprises and Potential Solutions. So if you see here Ganesh Ji Enterprises have only 51 masters or ledger masters whereas Potential Solution has 1071 ledger masters. This report is very handy for quick analysis of the statistics of the company. I hope this report will help you to selectively access any information based on the voucher type 
and also we saw under F12 how you can classify the voucher types based on the voucher series. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.